welcome to Pottermore. I know. You guys didn't know I was a Harry Potter fan, but I am. So, I've always been kind of curious as to which house I would actually fit in. I don't know. I'm kind of a Harry Potter dork, not as much as my family, but a little bit. So, do you see, look, this is really cool because you can, you got your Hogwarts house, your Patronus, wand, your Ivalmore. I think? What you call them? Um, I don't know. So today we're gonna join Hogwarts House and probably discover my Patronus. So, here we go. Uh, uh let's go to the Sonic ceremony. Dawn or Dusk? Dusk. Patrol has gone berserk and headmaster steady at Hogwarts. Is it about to it is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the Trolls Club if you could? Nearly a perfected cure for dragon pox and student records going back a thousand years, finally a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Student records, strange runes, dragon pox, strange runes, dragon pox, records, dragon pox, runes, records. Records, box, runes, runes, records, box. I'm gonna have to go with runes, box, and records. Where's that? Yeah, this one. Guess I. Mm. One of your housemates ooh, has cheated in Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quilt. Now he has come to the top of the class of charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what could happen. He draws you to the side after the lesson and asks whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Why and say you don't know, but, that, but hope that somebody tells Professor Flit Flitwick the truth? Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell her the truth, you will. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden goal, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Probably that one. And not because I'm trying to be like rude or anything, but that's just what I that's just what I would do. Like, I would just be like, students lying. So that one. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? Foaming, frothing, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing brown diamonds. A smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. Chocolate. The golden liquid so bright that it hurts your eye and which makes the sunspots dance all around the room. A mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. We'll have to go with the chocolate one, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm drinking the purple one. If you could have any power, which would you choose? Oh, that's trippy. Uh, if you could have any power, which would you choose? Power to read minds. Power of invisibility. Power of superhuman strength. Power to speak to animals. Power to change the past. Or the power to change your appearance at will. I'm gonna go with power to change my appearance. Given the choice, would you invent a potion that would guarantee you love? Glory. Wisdom. Power. Wisdom. I want to be smart. Returning Hogwarts, which uh, pet would you choose to take with you? Tabby cat? Siamese cat? Ginger cat? Black cat? White cat? Tawny owl? Screech owl? Brown owl? Sorry. Snowy owl? Barn owl? Almond toad? Adderjack toad? Dragon toad? Harley, Harlequin Toad, Three Toad, Tree Toad. I'm gonna have to go with the Dragon Toad, guys. I like dragons. Left or right? Right. Hufflepuff! Oh. Congratulations on being sorted into Hufflepuff. Huh. Badgers for the win? Wheat. Everything turned yellow. Um. I think we're gonna go with 
Patronus, still curious about that too. Wait, is Hubble the smarty pants one? Better with headphones. Let's just say here. I don't know if this is gonna affect the recording at all, but here we go. The projection of the very things that the magic feeds upon hope, happiness, and the desire to survive. Great as Loki. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to mute it because uh, I have a thing about trying to keep everything good. But. Discover your Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Yay! Relax. Think of your happiest memory. Okay. Got it. For those of you... For... I'm gonna say for... Uh... Glitter! I'm thinking about the first time I ever was in band class. I'm a dork, and I love my glass. Smooth. I love my glass so much. I miss it. So close to Patronus, something is taking form. Wonder what it is. Free. Yeah. One more question should do it. Alrighty, guys, here we go. This is running so bad, you guys. Oh. Okay. Pretty. Pretty. So, my Hogwarts house is Hufflepuff. My Patronus is Whitemare. I'm curious to... I'm curious to know more about Hufflepuff, because I... You probably know that some of the Huffle, some, blah, blah, but some of Hufflepuff's most renowned members include Nymphadora, Tonks, and Cedric Diggory. But did you know that Hufflepuff's house ghost, that friar, still resents the fact that he was n never made a cardinal, or that Hufflepuff has uh, produced, pr produced the fewest dark wizards of any house of Hogwarts? Uh, here you can discover more about your beloved house. They're writing. Hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. The house has produced its share of great wizards, not least Newt Scamander, author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh. So it's not like. Okay, I thought it was the Smarty Pants one, but apparently that's the. Yes, Newt Scamander! Um. That's the. Kind ones, okay. The fat briar. Sweet. Okay, I would never put myself in Hufflepuff. 
Well, the hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play? The safe house is new to commander, so it can't be all that bad, right? I think we're gonna keep going with this. I really, really do like this. We're gonna go back. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna see everything. Um... This is so cool. Congratulations, I am Prefect Gabriel Truman, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Hufflepuff House. Our emblem is the Badger, an emblem that is often underestimated because it lives quietly until attacked, but which, when provoked, can bite off animals much larger than itself, including wolves. Our house color is yellow and black, and our common room lies on one floor below the ground, on the same corridor as the kitchens. Ooh. Now, there are a few things you should know about a Hufflepuff house. First of all, let's deal with the perennial myth about the place, which is that we're the least clever house. Wrong! <laughs> uh, Hufflepuff is certainly the least boastful house, but we've produced just as many brilliant witches and wizards as any other. Want proof? Look up Grogan Stump, one of the most popular ministers for magic of all time. He was a Hufflepuff, uh, as were the ministers Artemisia Lufkin and Dougal McFall. McPhail. Then there's a world authority on magical creatures. There's the world authority on magical creatures, Newt Scamander. Bridget Wentlock, the famous 13th century, uh, Ar Arithmancer, who first discovered the magical properties of number seven and Hengist of Woodcroft, who found founded all the all wizarding village of Hogsmeade, which lies very near the Hogwarts school. Hufflepuffs Puffs Hall. Oh. That's a lot of reading. Okay. Point is, I'm a Hufflepuff. I love it. I appreciate it. Let's see what wand I get. Hello, Mr. Olivanda. The wand ceremony. Take your time to answer honestly. Your answers are final. Begin the experience. To ensure we find the perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer all the following questions honestly. First of all, would you consider to describe yourself as average height? Short. Tall. I'm not exactly tall, but I'm not short either, so I'd say average height. And your eyes, dark brown, black, brown, hazel, blue, blue gray, blue green, green, gray, other. My eyes are blue. Sometimes it's hard to tell. But it's really cool. My eyes are really cool because like I have this like ring around my pupil that will change from gold to white, depending on I don't know whether it's the mood or the temperature. Or like what environment I'm in. I don't know. But it's stinking cool. Was the day in which you were born an even number? Odd number. Well, I was born on the 15th of August, so odd number. You pride yourself most on kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, originality. Definitely not originality. Probably imagination. I had a pretty good imagination. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea? Uh, head towards the forest, or right towards the castle. There could be werewolves in the forest, but let's go to the forest. You must fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, heights. Uh, isolation. I hate being alone, but like, in, but like doing stuff like this, like I don't feel like I'm alone. Like you guys, you guys are with me. So, in a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Ornate mirror, dusty bottle, golden key, silver dagger, bound scroll, glittering jewel, or black glove. Well, with the black glove, is there a pair to it? There, mate. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the dagger. These daggers are cool. But again, holly wood with a phoenix feather core, about twelve and a half inches, and slightly springy flexibility. Hmm. <laughs> cool. I don't know much about the uh, Iv Ivermorny house. I don't. I don't know that. I don't know that much about the. I think that's the American school, if I remember correctly. Um, but I don't know that much about it because I'm so focused on like the actual story of Harry Potter. Okay. 
<laughs> I've been learning school witchcraft and wizardry. Really. Yeah. Would you rather hunt? Heal. Well, it just kind of depends. Or heal. My greatest weakness is nobody's business but mine. What makes me me? The source of my greatest strength. Something I must change. Definitely something I must change. My magic is inborn. In need of work. <laughs> Unique. Powerful. Unique? Where would you least like to find yourself? Imprisoned alone in a silent dungeon? Locked in a crowded cage, standing room only? In the, in the dock... In the dock in court, accused of a crime you did not commit. On the deck of a ship that is a tidal, uh, as the tidal wave comes over the horizon, that would be terrifying. But trapped in the attic as a house burns below you. On a rope bridge fraying over the canyon. Ugh. Lost in a forest at night, eyes staring at you through the dark. I'm gonna have to go with the standing room because I, I'm kind of claustrophobic. Like, it's not, like, really, really bad, but it's enough that it gives me an anxiety attack. It sucks. Uh, whose judgment do you most fear? Nobody's. My own. My friends. My families. The world's. Histories. Probably my own, because I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hard on myself most of the time. I, like, I don't intend to be, but I am. All I need is an opportunity, a little more time, some help, already inside me. Um, time. A little more time. <sighs> Think of the question you would most like answered by a person or an all-knowing being or device. Which of the following most uh, closely resembles the answer you'd like to hear, without a shadow of a doubt? Okay, wait, wait, I gotta think of the question first. I'm not gonna tell you guys because it's got that's, that's kind of a private thing. Very soon, it's impossible. Yes, I'll show you everything only if you agree. Come with me. No, I didn't. You are. Yes, you may. Only once. If you want to. Forever. Not for many years. Um, without a shadow of a doubt. No curse can work without the victim's secret consent. True. False. True? Yeah, true. I'm gonna say true. Horned Serpent. Congratulations, you've been sorted into Horned Serpent. Okay. <laughs> I sold Sayer after the great horned river serpent it has that has a jewel set into its forehead. A horned serpent house is sometimes considered to represent the mind of a witch or wizard. It's also said that horned serpent favors scholars. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, um. Oh wait, before, before I do my outro, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description, because... Oops, I just went back to the front page. Oh well. Um. But, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description, and just tell me what you guys get. Like, try this out, this is a lot of fun. Um. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, show that like button a little bit of love. And I will see you in the next the next one. Bye-bye.